All right, for better or definitely for worse, we're uh, back again with uh, Carnivores 1 hunting the Velociraptor. And um, that's it. I have a shotgun. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, I guess I can talk about random stuff again. That was the modus operandi of the uh, last episode. Um, or last uh, recording session. Last like five episodes. Why is he so sl He's so slow. Oh my goodness. I think we can probably manage that. Alright. Well then. Alright, time for try number two. Um, same deal. Shotgun. Velociraptor. I was about to say I'll talk about some random stuff and then I got murdered. Um, in literally the first episode, uh, so, you know, like a week ago if you're seeing this one, I mentioned that I had been helping somebody with something that I was really excited about. And I linked it in the description, but I got so distracted that I forgot to say what it actually was. The audio driver just crashed. All right, well, be right back. And we're back. Uh, same deal, yet again. This time, it was crashing. What I was saying was, in the first episode, I, I said that I was excited about something and we were about to do it for the first time. And I was, you know, was hoping it would turn out well or whatever. And um, so what I was talking about was this uh, Twitch channel that I actually linked in the um, description, if anybody checked it out, or if you didn't, I'm going to tell you about it again, because it was really cool when I'm, it worked out. He's so slow, but he's he's also, he's like a tank, or a velociraptor. Alright, try number four. <laughs> I'm never going to get anything done at this rate. Uh, I'll just get it out real quick. We uh, made a Twitch channel to stream our in VR chat improv event, and uh, it went super awesome. Uh, the first test was uh, was great. Um, so this is my buddy uh, GoBlox's project, and if you want to check it out, go over to YouTube, YouTube uh, VR Chat Improv, or now uh, Twitch.tv slash VR Chat Improv with no spaces. And um, yeah, it was super awesome. It went really great. Uh, and that's about all there is to say about that. I just wanted to update, I guess, if you had any interest in that from the first episode, which you probably didn't, because I didn't, uh, <clears throat> didn't talk about it so good. Didn't, <laughs> didn't explain at all. Um, but yeah, it went really great. Uh, I hope to help him with that more in the future. Maybe be on the show as an improv actor, hey? Eh? Or, uh, as I was doing in the first episode, I was sort of monitoring, monitoring the Twitch chat and reading suggestions, which I'm bad at, and managed to mispronounce like four words uh, in just one, like one group of suggestions, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, overall, the uh, show went great, the actors did awesome, and the camera setup was super, like, super cool. Um, so if you have any interest in improv, like whose line is it anyway, or something like that, uh, you know, we're not that good, uh, you know, as a, as a whatever improv group, but we're, I think we're funny. We're, you know, entertaining, and I shouldn't even say we, I, I haven't been on the show yet, I've just done the practices, but I hope too soon, and the actors that do it now, some of them are extremely funny, and they're all quite good, I think, so uh, go check that out if you have any interest in that. Anyway, there is my shameless plug for my friend, and also for myself, because I want to be a part of that more in the future. And uh, I've just been really hyped up thinking about that um, since it went down. It's definitely one of the most like, professional and uh, just interesting things that I've really done um, or, you know, been a part of in any way as far as, like, making videos or streaming or anything. As you can see, all my stuff is extremely low quality and not thought out whatsoever. Although I'd like to change that one day. Um, Maybe I should, you know, I'll just ask about it on this video, and uh, you, my extremely loyal watchers who are, are watching Carnivores 2, I mean Carnivores 1, or maybe were watching Carnivores 2 in 2012 or whatever, uh, can help me. So I am, 
have thought a bunch before that I, you know, would like to make some sort of, you know, more edited group of YouTube videos that's about video games in some way, or about other things, you know, TV shows or movies or something that I could, you know, talk about, but it's difficult to approach the, those topics from, you know, a standpoint that somebody hasn't already. Are you kidding me, this audio driver? Oh my goodness, okay. Be back in a minute. This video is going to end up being more of a video of just me talking about random craft than actually shooting anything. I'm trying. Um, but yeah, so if you have any ideas of, uh, I don't know, something, something that you could tackle, you know, video games with and talk about in a way that it hasn't been talked about a, a bajillion times already on YouTube, which is quite difficult, and that's why I haven't come up with anything. I guess I have come up with a few, but I've never really uh, put it into, you know, video. Um, but I like editing my videos and making more, you know, interesting things than just me sitting here playing a game, but I'm mostly doing it this way just to maintain the, the you know, I don't know, just to do it how I did it the first time, um, because people seem to like that, you know, when it was new, although that was also 2012 and tastes have certainly changed, but... Um, I don't know, and I just wanted to play the games for the heck of it. I mean, I was thinking about playing them anyway, so I thought, shoot, I'll just record it. Why not? Got him. That was a good score. Is that 16 points or 18? Alright, now I'm afraid I'm going to get eaten while I'm waiting for this. I heard that other Velociraptor. So now we've gotten one of every dinosaur except for the T-Rex, which means I assume that we have to get probably 200 points to unlock the right to hunt the T-Rex. And I guarantee you he ain't gonna die unless I use a sniper rifle. So that's probably how that's gonna go down. And I will save the last... well, I can't get into Area 6 either until we have the points to hunt the T-Rex. So that's when I'll, uh, I'll go there for the first time as well. Alright, he's out of here, so we'll say that's good. And be back in a second. So we've got currently 130 points. Uh, which, you know, if it's 200, we're not far away. So about 4 to 5 more Velociraptor kills. Uh, if that's the case, I imagine. Let's see, 16 points. 6 times 3 is 18. 30, 48. Hmm, so what? Four more. Let's do math. Let's not talk about how bad I am at math, even though I'm in calculus, I can't do arithmetic. Four times six, 24, right? Four times 10, 40. 40 plus 24, 64. Plus 30, 194. But that's assuming 16 is the standard uh, point value for killing a Velociraptor, so it might be five, might be four. But about four to five more Velociraptor kills. The last one went very smooth. The first few definitely did not. Um, so we'll just have to hope that they go as smoothly as the last one did. And then maybe I can get this over pretty quickly. Not that I'm not having fun, I am. Uh, and I'm looking forward to playing the other games and playing other games in general. I don't know. I, I can't... Oh god, that scared me. It's just a Gallimimus. I can't uh, promise that you know, the, the upload rate will stay the same, but um, just for the time being, I don't know, it hasn't been any skin off my back. I only played Carnivores that one night and I was able to make five videos out of it, which is pretty, you know, pretty good upload rate. I imagine, you know, every 20 videos or something, I might get like one new person to look at it. <laughs> so... I have no dreams about success uh, whatsoever in the YouTube world, but I think it's fun to play games and, and have a chance to talk and say what's... It's sort of like uh, video logging, video blogging, you know, I guess. <clears throat> and I got to tell you about our, our VR chat improv thing, and it's really neat. I hope that somebody will check that out. Honestly, I care a lot more about that uh, than I do about anything I'm doing on my channel at the moment or anything I've, you know, done in the past. Basically nothing is, is what I've done on my channel. But again, I'd like to do something, you know, different and 
interesting, but I just need an idea. I don't know how to... Ooh. I just came from the ocean. Hang on. What? What? There's one over there. Aha. Hmm. He must be out in the water. What's going on here? He's in the ocean! Is that possible? He is seriously out in the ocean. Let me come out here for just a second. There's no way he's seriously out here. Can they swim? I think they can. So you'd see him on the top of the water. Wait a minute. Huh. I, okay, alright. I give up on that one. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, and hey, like I said, I built, I'm building my Windows 98 computer. I talked about that in the other episodes. Uh, it's closer to being done. I'm, I need the, the, uh, the graphics card to come, and I found out that the memory that I was using was no good, which is not a shocker, um, but, you know, sets me back by a few days because i got to wait for the new RAM to get shipped. It was $3. <laughs> so we've, um, you know, dumped a ton of money into our new, our new build. Um, oh, and, uh, you know, funny story, I, I tried to use the old power supply from the Windows 98 that I was sort of Frankensteining this new one out of, and, uh, it didn't have the cables that I needed, so I, uh, had to end up, well, I was about to buy a new power supply, and then I went and dug in my closet, and I found my old power supply from my old gaming computer that I built, uh, you know, during like the Windows 7 era. And it actually worked with that motherboard, so um, it had the cables that I needed. So I put that one in there, and now my Windows 98 computer has a really exciting uh, blue LED light that just lights up the entire case and looks like a race car or something. I don't know, it's awesome. Uh, and stupid. It, it's like, it's, um... I don't know if there's a word for that, but it's so dumb looking that it's cool. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I I don't know. I, I think I can turn the LED off. I, I found a button. I haven't tested it yet, but I read that the button on the on that brand of LED... I mean, on that brand of P... Ooh! Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. Whew. Didn't know I was making a Halloween video. All right, well... <laughs> Uh, I'm okay. I didn't have a heart attack. Thought I did for a split second. Um, but no, we're good. Everything is good. You know what? I know something I can talk about. So, uh, if, uh, the person who I was talking to about this actually sees this video, they'll think I'm ridiculous, but that's okay. I'm not actually, uh, so we talked about it and she might have thought that I was being, like, super serious about it or whatever, but I, I'm not. I just... It was an interesting, I, I don't know, I just tried it and let me, let me just talk about what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> in one of my videos at the very end of it, I left it because I thought it was funny. I said, uh, MapleStory 2 finished downloading and, um, you know, it really did. That's why I said that. And after I finished playing Carnivores, I went and gave it a shot just to see how it was. And uh, I just kind of thought it stunk and, um, you know, it was okay. But one of my friends was playing it, and I asked her if she thought it was fun, and we talked about it for a little bit. Um, and so now, you know, now I'm talking about it on this video, but uh, I just, I don't know, it was just popped into my head, so I thought I'd talk about it, since I'm not sure what else to talk about. Um, yeah, I don't know, I thought it wasn't very good. Uh, it's, you know, okay. I mean, I played a little bit of Maple Story back in the old days, and I, you know, enjoyed it. Some, somewhat, anyway. 
Um, but I think it's interesting, so there's this... Uh, I feel like... how's the best way to put this? I, I told somebody else I feel like my... my, um, my uh, expectations of like what an MMORPG is are apparently just like outdated. But I think it's because... So like when I play an MMORPG, I expect the game to just, you know, be like, make a character, and then you make the character, and it's like, okay, and then it just spawns you in, in this place, and it's like, okay, well, you know, okay, go play. Like, it doesn't really, like, tell you what to do. Um, kind of like Minecraft or something, you know, where you, you start the game up, and the game just throws you in, and you're just there, and you play it, and you kind of, like, figure it out, and the things you can't figure out, maybe you, like, talk to other people about or something. Um, or look it up on the internet, I guess, if you, uh, have a crippling, uh, social problem or deficiency, with, like me. <laughs> but, uh, but I, um, but, uh, oh, okay, that was too real. All right, now I have to recover. Um, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> So if you play if you played like RuneScape or EverQuest or something like that, which I don't have a ton of experience with EverQuest, um, at least my memory of those games was that there was really no there was really no information about what you were supposed to be doing given to you by the game, except for maybe a short tutorial in the case of RuneScape. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I remember being uncertain about how to actually do the things in the game that I wanted to do and I had to ask people around me to show me how to do it or, or teach me or I figured it out on my own by just trying things or you know some of the quests kind of taught you as well I guess but uh I don't know the point is Maple Story 2 I tried it and I historically have liked it in the RPG so I was kind of excited because it's you know a brand new one and uh I don't know I just thought it would be fun to try it out or, you know, I've never gotten to play something like an MMO, like, when it came out. I always am playing it way later when I've heard about it from someone else. But Maple Story 2 was pretty well broadcasted, and, you know, it's a sequel to a pretty successful MMO that I remember. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um... <laughs> you can't sneak up on me! You can't sneak up on me! It's not a Velociraptor, though, but you can't sneak up on me. I need to turn the tranquilizer back on. I'm wasting points. That was beautiful. Ooh. He heard me talking garbage about Maple Story too. It's not good. No, I'm just kidding. It's it's alright. It's just it's super story based and it's just not that exciting. If you're looking for something like that where you wanna if you wanna explore on your own and find things or whatever, you're not gonna find it there. It's it's basically just playing a single player game, but there are just people running around. Um, in your way, which is annoying, in my opinion. And I really don't feel like I want to talk to anybody because the game just keeps on hammering me with everything that I need to know uh, in order to play it, which isn't very fun. So yeah, that's my hot take. Uh, give it a try and find out for yourself, though. Don't take it from my word. And we will be back.